Hey, I'm Ramon Ray, and we're in San Francisco, California. We're at uh, Salesforce's Dreamforce, the uh, big, big event where businesses of all shapes and sizes come and learn about Salesforce and marketing automation. Rebecca King of Cox Automotive, thanks for being with us today as we talk about uh, small business entrepreneurs and all kind of good things. Yeah, it's my pleasure to be here. Thanks. You're welcome. So, Rebecca, tell us a little bit about yourself and Cox Automotive. Give us an overview of what you guys do. And I know you mentioned some brands that pretty much everybody listening to yeah. this will know about. <laughs> so, yeah. share with us what you do. Sure. So, most people are familiar with AutoTrader and Kelly Blue Book. Kelly Blue Book's where you go to find out what your car is worth, and uh, AutoTrader will help you find the next car that you're looking for, so it's very familiar to consumers. But what a lot of people don't think about right away is our B2B industry. And so we work with uh, dealers, lenders, and manufacturers and help them digitize the uh, buying and selling process for consumers, as well as how dealers and lenders and manufacturers buy and sell cars amongst each other. Got it. So again, going on the digitization side, there can be a dealer that's independent and they can come to you to help build their website or something different. Just dive into that a bit more. I'm curious. Sure. Yeah, that too. So if I'm a dealer, I can work with uh, our retailing team to have a CRM that helps me keep track of who my people are that are looking for cars. I can also have tools that tell me what vehicles are selling in my area and have have another service that can tell you about your inventory. Some dealers, as they get larger, keep inventory in off-site locations, and it's like trying to find your keys when you leave the house in the morning. And you're like, where is that? You know. And so we help with that as well. We have a group that focuses on inventory that helps the dealers. Like when you go trade in a car, that dealer's got a car that maybe isn't what they sell. They can go to our Mannheim auctions and sell that vehicle there to a dealer in another city, state, uh, and we have services that will help get that vehicle back and forth for them. So you're like a in between a, a middle person for all kind of services. And yeah, products. we have a marketplace. Yeah, a yeah, marketplace. yeah, where we don't actually buy and sell cars ourselves, but we help those who are buying and selling those cars, both consumer and in B two B. Let's talk about your role day to day as we lead into how you can help our audience. You have your cup of coffee or your phone, you sit down at the desk, and Rebecca, what happens? Give us a peek inside of your day and your role and your team, what you guys are doing, sure. and then we want to know how that can help us businesses as well. Absolutely. So I'm the director of marketing systems across the enterprise. So I have teams that help stitch together the tools that our individual brands are using so that we can be smarter together and actually that's come. That's a big role. I just want to say that's a big thing, <laughs> meaning to stitch that together. I think one thing problem companies have is they're growing the lack of integration you know yes. on hold or the things that we hear at the end user hold on one second or call the number we can't transfer you that's yes. just my little example that's an absolutely appropriate example and one we never want our customers to have as we've been growing and I think it's a challenge uh, I actually come from a family of entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and uh, as you're a sm uh, small business with big dreams you know well, where do you start it can be analysis by paralysis sometimes and we have the same thing in a large organization and sometimes maybe a little bit worse because we have so many people instead of just running one business we're running 25 at the same time uh, so we have a few tips and tricks that we have learned uh, that help us to execute that I think are probably pretty applicable to your audience too. So let's dive into that. I mean, you're working for a larger company with some people would say it's small, but it's a larger company compared to my audience with thousands and thousands of employees and touch points and et cetera. Mm -hmm. But you know, for the, for the five guys in a garage, 10 girls in a loft, uh, 50 person business, whatever, it's a broad question, uh, Rebecca, but what are some things that you've learned? Hey, Ramon, if every business does this and their use of technology, Here's how they can succeed. Anything from your playbook that you're that apply to all? What can we learn from you? Yeah. Well, one of the things we're sharing today in uh, at Dreamforce here in our speaking is about starting small, and it's a great cliche, but it, the very practical thing is to take just take one piece of the functionality you want to be able to do. If you want to do lead nurturing, well, lead nurturing is a huge end-to-end -end vision. So just start with one part of that. You know, uh, do you want to capture leads from your website and know when it's the right time to call them back? Just pick one. Piece piece of the tool that's your shiny object or thing you want to do and then pick one and this is where people forget to do a lot is just pick one metric that you want like are you trying to close more business are you trying to qualify more leads are you trying to retain more customers but just pick one thing don't pick seven metrics that tell you a story to start uh, and then execute and we like to say we take one piece of functionality, one metric, we wrap it in a campaign and we just work on that problem until we've hit our goals or realize that 
that isn't going to fit for us. And, and then we go from there to the next thing. So we've put together this, we may have a big vision about unifying our client experience, but we get there through putting one foot in front of the other in a very small and practical way. And one day you'll look up after doing that and see that you've put together a whole program that is really moving your business forward, but you didn't spend seven months figuring it out or two years forming the strategy. You just spent three weeks on that one piece. There must be a lot of, uh, for lack of a better word, CIOs, I'll call you for the sake of this conversation, a lot of CIOs here, smart ones, because I was talking to somebody else, and very similar thing he echoed is that he hates the um, one or two year implementation cycle. He said, Ramon, it doesn't need to take that long, but probably because you're biting off a small piece and making sure that works. I don't know if that's, those are my words, but is that kind of... Well, I think everybody in technology is real hip to agile organizations and going through agile transformations. And we're, we're really excited about that we're sprinting our organizations, adopting a scaled agile framework. So even though we're a large organization, we're putting uh, planning layers in place, but our leadership stays out of the day-to-day -day delivery team so that people that build things can be allowed to build it and go really fast and iterate. Uh, and so I think even as we get to be larger organizations, we're still trying to behave like like small scrappy ones. I love it, I love it. Um, and let's talk about Salesforce. I think we've weaved some of this already into the conversation, but specifically how is Salesforce helping uh, your business, Rebecca, and what's going on with that, and what are some tools or tips or favorites or whatever you want to share with us. Sure. We're, at a, we're at an event here with a lot of people and a lot of Salesforce, but what are you finding that Salesforce is useful for Cox Automotive? Well, there's a lot of areas. I think we we love the, the customization of the platform, so we can have a lot of different businesses in the same tool and use things like record type so you can create completely different experiences, but all the data is in one place. So you can have an opportunity pipeline, as an example, that you have three or four different kinds of opportunity pipeline, but it's all on the same platform, and you have the same people managing it. So that way you don't need to have three different um, people because you have three different tools. You can have you know, one and a half. You can have a couple of people working together, and they can take what works well from one team and apply it to the next. Um, so we really like that functionality. And... We are learning um, and disciplining ourselves to embrace code, uh, clicks before code. Okay. Uh, because and explain. Well, it's one of the mantras in Salesforce is clicks before code. It's really easy in technology to go custom build something that's exactly what you vision. Right. Um, but then you have built yourself something that's this deep that is just to your head. And if you try to have somebody else learn or use it, they have to learn your code all over again. And you lose a lot of time. And I think small businesses happen a lot where they buy a software and then it doesn't fit them and they want to switch, but they've done all this customization that they can't go to a new tool. Right without all this overhead of migration. And um, it's really important to stay nimble. And so the Salesforce clicks versus code concept talks about even if it's not exactly what you need, if it's only 80% what you're looking for, just configure it first and use that before you go and customize it. And so we're embracing that as well. Like uh, it's, my husband says, uh, 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 and better is the enemy of good, uh, right? Yeah. So. Let's start with good. Let's start with action. Let's start with learning something. And then let's come back and refine that. And so I think that's one of the things that we really appreciate thematically from this tool. Maybe we should have the Rebecca and Ramon show and do this for like a few hours one day. <laughs> okay, let's do that. <laughs> well, <the> series. <laughs> Again, Rebecca King with Cox Automotive. Cox Automotive? Yes. Uh, with uh, Kelly Blue Book and other brand forces. Uh, yep. Brand oh, Kelly Blue Book, Auto Trader, Mannheim, V Auto, Vin Solutions, X Time, Home Net. That's good. We could, we got I'm going to leave somebody out and their feelings are going to be hurt. I'm don't don't feel email. bad. Don't feel bad. She, I, I cut her off. But Rebecca, this has been great. And thank you for sharing with us all about how you're using technology in your business and using Salesforce. And again, my name is Ramon Ray in San Francisco at Salesforce's Dreamforce.